Hello, here is an air-dried cytospin preparation from a peritoneal fluid sample in a patient with signet ring cell gastric adenocea. So as we look around, we can see that it is a very cellular sample. Uh, there are different populations of cells. Some of them look quite atypical at this magnification. And as we go at higher magnification, we can see these cells and these as opposed to these cells, which are a little bit different. Let's go on higher power. Here we can see a group of cells which is relatively loosely aggregated. The nuclei are eccentric, uh, they have prominent nucleoli, relatively coarse chromatin, and there is some irregularity of the nuclear membranes. A mitotic figure is seen here, and in fact, some of these cells actually have a signet ring appearance. We don't see a very clear-cut cytoplasmic vacuole, but the cytoplasm is bubbly, suggesting the presence of mucin. And we can compare these cells with these other cells with much smaller nuclei, and these cells which are likely to be macrophages. Moving on to a different area, again we see these atypical cells with the large eccentric irregular nuclei and we can compare them with these cells which are quite different. These cells actually have much smaller nuclei, uh, the nuclear membranes are smoother and the chromatin also appears to be finer, although it would be more readily appreciable in the alcohol fixed smears. And we can see the cytoplasm is relatively homogeneous in some areas. And these are actually mesothelial cells. And I also want to draw your attention to another group of cells here with a slightly irregular nuclei, but they are a little bit oval, elongated. And these cells have abundant, very bubbly cytoplasm. These are macrophages. So in this uh, particular field, we can see three different cell types. We have the malignant cells, the mesothelial cells, and the macrophages. Here we are now looking at the alcohol fixed smears of the same case and again we can see very very abnormal cells. Some of the cells are actually quite small. These are all malignant glandular cells with the eccentric nuclei and here is a good example of a signet ring cell. And we do have a lot of uh, macrophages in the background with these pale bean shaped nuclei and abundant pale bubbly cytoplasm. The cytoplasm is actually a little bit different from that of the malignant cells if you compare carefully. And it's actually quite difficult to find mesothelial cells. This is again a higher magnification view and we can see how coarse the chromatin is in the malignant cells compared to that in the macrophages. Again, we're looking at mostly malignant cells with some macrophages in the background, and we're going to look for mesothelial cells. In this field, we can see malignant cells here, 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 um, and another one here. And this group of cells actually looks a little bit different. The nuclei are, are oval with very smooth nuclear membranes, and the chromatin is a lot finer compared to the malignant cells. And the cytoplasm is rather well defined and homogeneous. So this is a cluster of reactive mesothelial cells. And you can compare them with the malignant cells, both in terms of the nuclei. It is the nuclear features that tell you that a cell is malignant. But in this instance, the cytoplasm is also a little bit different because it is quite bubbly in the malignant cells.